In this video, we're going to be installing a cut-in receptacle. Many homeowners find themselves with a lack of uh, counter space and counter power, and we have to put those in odd places sometimes for appliances and such. What we have now is uh, a cut-in box here. We're gonna need one of those. We're gonna need our strippers, a screwdriver, and I've already uh, measured off my stud and cut my hole and I've also pulled my wire so we don't need to do that on film but you're gonna meet, you're gonna need a number 12 wire for a kitchen convenience outlet what the cut-in box does is it has a couple flanges and when you uh, turn the screw the flange pops up and it's gonna sandwich the sheetrock in between the two flanges so I'll install this now Set that in, and on either side of the box, you're going to find some screws. Simply just tighten those, and that's when the flange is uh, open and sandwich the sheetrock in between. So the box is tight now. And again, it's a cut-in box if you were to purchase one. I'm twisting my copper wire instead of sticking them in the holes in back. If you stick the copper in the holes in the back of the receptacle or switches, over time it'll loosen up and you'll find yourself without power. So it's best to always wrap the copper around the screw. It'll be tighter and last longer. Tighten. I like to close both screws. Now here's your neutral, your white is your neutral wire. And then your ground, it's gonna be completely bare and it is the safety wire. So now everything's tightened. What I like to do as a rule of thumb is wrap electrical tape around everything that will be conducting electricity for my safety and any other electrician and the homeowner's safety. If uh, they need to tamper with this or take it out or in. And now, also in a cutting box, um, you don't need the little uh, flanges on the ends of the receptacle so I cut those off so it'll sink deeper into the box and there won't be any gaps. going to take my strippers and kind of turn it, make it face completely front. Or completely forward so it's not turned in any awkward position. Then my receptacle cover here, I'm going to place on there. Tighten. there's your receptacle. And it's always good to test the receptacle after you've installed it by using a plug tester. You can get these at the Home Depot or Lowe's, whichever, for about 12 bucks. You'll see uh, a diagram of various kinds of wiring, open hot, open ground, reverse hot and ground, with the lights indicating uh, which one it is. Simply install this in the receptacle and you can do this throughout your house. It's a good idea for safety. Make sure everything's installed correctly. As you can see on ours, it is installed correctly. The two right hand uh, lights are illuminated 